And this, of course, begins at the door. We've gone about as far as we can go in surface survey work and even scanning work. There are other types of scans that could be done. I don't know that it would be that helpful, really, to get more scans. What we really need now is excavation. But I would say that each one of these positive steps does point directly identifying this formation as containing remains of Noah's Ark. But the final proof of the pudding ultimately must come from excavation. We're delighted with the results. And at this point in time, personally, I can look anybody in the eye and say that this boat shaped formation in eastern Turkey is actually the remains of Noah's Ark. It is human nature to want to know our origins and to fill in the blanks of unwritten history. To justify spiritual beliefs, many have tried to confirm the existence of God with black and white facts. While there is factual evidence that the remains of a boat are buried on Ron's mountain, there's nothing conclusive to prove that it's the fabled Ark. Then again, there's nothing conclusive to prove that it isn't. In terms of the importance of the location of Noah's Ark and the identification of it, I would say make three main points. First of all, as one goes through the history of the human race in the Bible, this stands as an important historical event, a very transitional event. It's an event that divides two eras in biblical history. So just in terms of history of the race, it's an important event. A second, I would say that it will have far-reaching implications in the realms of both science and history. Uh, obviously, some scientific theories are going to have to be revised if we really have found a boat-shaped formation from diluvian times at the 6,300-foot level in these mountains in eastern Turkey. Uh, third, I would say that there is a religious teaching out of it. There's a theology in Genesis 6 to 9, the three chapters that cover the flood story. And I would say it reveals two sides of the character of God. It reveals the, his character as judge of the antediluvians for the nature of their civilization. Yet his redemptive activity is shown in his graciousness and mercy extended to Noah and his family. In every generation, there are those who dedicate their lives against all odds to the greater search for knowledge and truth. Before them lay not only the impediments of nature, but the obstructions placed by men unfriendly to their quest. These obstructions are made manifest through deception, misleading information, and political trickery perpetrated often by governments and powerful religious leaders. Overcoming each challenge and facing down every obstacle along the way the Ron Wyatt expedition has contributed to the world what was formerly considered lost to time and the elements. It is now proclaimed by many to be the final resting place of that legendary diluvian vessel, the salvation of all life on our small planet, none other than Noah's Ark. In his quest for Noah's Ark, Ron Wyatt discovered an enormous ancient boat-shaped object partially buried on a mountainside, 6,300 feet above sea level. Why is it there is a question for civilization to puzzle over for centuries to come. Why it has taken this long for you and I to learn of the Ark is perhaps a man-made mystery of more pressing significance. Lost no more are the Phenomenon Archives.